Hi there, Clarky here from the Phobic Flyer. On the 4th of August 2022, a 1974 Piper PA28140 Golf Bravo Charlie Juliet November crashed after an attempted go around and went badly wrong. This occurred at Kemble, Cotswold Airport in Gloucestershire. And as I used to train at Kemble, this incident particularly interested me. I started learning to fly in 2013 and it took me seven and a half years to get my PPR license due to a debilitating fear of flying. I created this channel to show some of my training and what's next for my flying hobby and to prove that it is possible to overcome a phobia. Welcome to the Phobic Flyer YouTube channel. Now an aircraft accident often sadly ends with some fatalities. And whilst the occupants of this aircraft were hospitalised, the AAIB classified their injuries as minor. The AAIB, the Air Accident Investigation Branch, have now produced their final report, and the summary is as follows. After an attempted go-around, the aircraft feared left from the runway track. The instructor was unable to establish a climb, and the aircraft touched down approximately 350 metres from the end of the runway, tracking approximately perpendicular to the left of the runway track. As the aircraft touched down, it passed between two parked out-of-use airliners, and its right wingtip struck the nose landing gear of one of those parked aircraft. The outer portion of the right wing was severed and the aircraft continued across the grass. It passed through the airfield perimeter fence, crossed the A429 road and came to rest in a ditch adjacent to the road. The AIB added that there had been a confused handover of control between the student and instructor. That meant the go around actions were not completed effectively. This resulted in the aircraft flying at very low height and an airspeed that was probably below the minimum power speed, leaving it with insufficient power to climb away. You can view the full report from the AAIB by visiting the shortened URL below. Now this aircraft was based at a flying school which wasn't based at Kemble, but it had also had a previous incident in September 2015. The AAIB states that the aircraft, which was being flown solo by the student pilot, landed heavily, bounced, and the propeller struck the runway. The aircraft then veered to the right, departed the runway, and came to a stop on the grass. You can view that report by visiting the shortened URL below. Now, this was also at Kemble as well. Kemble is a great place to visit and has a huge runway which virtually any heavy aircraft can utilise. And in fact, many aircraft end their working life there to be broken for spares. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you.